Yo, what's going on guys? Today we are back on Pokemon Showdown and uh, forgive my voice, I am feeling a little bit sick or I still have my morning voice and it's 6 p.m. I don't know. But uh, today we are doing the uh, the OU Suspect Test Ladder. Basically Greninja has finally been nominated for a Suspect Test and uh, I guess I'll touch upon that. I believe Greninja should be banned. It's, uh, it's not over centralizing in the sense that it can set up on the entire tier like Mega Salamence and win or that it can trap a Mon and be a great support Mon for another Pokemon like Mega Gengar or that it just breaks through teams like Lucario or Mega King is gone but uh, it limits building standard balance in X and Y was uh, Heatran, Clefable, Ferrothorn, etc etc, Azumarill, whatever Greninja completely wrecks that I think there's a lot of arguments for why it shouldn't be banned. I'm going to touch upon the ones that are probably the worst. Okay, one of the worst arguments for why Greninja shouldn't be banned. Uh, I have a lot of reasons why it should be banned, and I can probably put it in paragraph form, and I'll put it in the thread sometime when I can think clearly. But uh, one of the reasons that's so bad that people say it shouldn't be banned is uh, it won't do well in Ubers. That is probably, I think Chipak touched upon this in his video too, that is probably one of the worst uh, arguments that you can put, that it won't do well in Ubers. A Pokemon being suspected in OU, it doesn't matter how it does in Ubers. If it's over centralizing in the OU tier, right here, and it's voted banned, it will go. It really doesn't matter how it does in Ubers. Another thing that I think is a uh, really bad argument, oh, the uh, four move slot syndrome. Basically, it has four moves and you can predict around it. Again, Chimpak touched on this, but one, you don't know what moves Greninja is running. So if you go out to your Ferrothorn and... Uh, Bopsy with HP Fire, or you're predicting around, you're trying to predict around the set. Either way, Greninja is only taking 10% from Life Orb per turn while it's dealing damage to your team. So while you can quote unquote play around it, it's always dealing more damage to you than it's taking. Especially with Stealth Rock Up, stuff like that. So I don't know. I believe personally Greninja should be banned, and I probably will put a better argument and my reasons why in the thread though a lot of the arguments are <laughs> actually pretty funny but uh yeah anyway sorry just wanted to uh say that but today we are on the ou suspect ladder on pokemon showdown.com play.pokemonshowdown.com some people still ask where do i where am i playing pokemon it's play.pokemonshowdown.com all you gotta do is put pokemon showdown in google it's the first option and uh, before we actually get into this if you guys ever want to have a chance to wi-fi battle me Twitter is the place to go, at Joey Pokegame. The link is always down in the description. Anyway, I'm actually using my Enter Mega Altaria team that I did a few edits for. With Greninja being gone, I don't have to worry about switching around it and taking all this massive damage. Uh, it's still not very good because um, despite having Mega Altaria and Heatran, it's kind of weak to Latios or Latias just because this is offensive trend. Nothing really appreciates Dracos. Uh, I have to Mega Evolve Altaria if I don't want it just spamming Draco. So... We're going to look for a battle, and uh, I actually don't have very many points. Uh, yeah, I have only 5 wins, 1 loss, 11, 24 elo, but that's not what matters. The thing that matters is uh, the coil, so I'm trying to get this to 2700. Anyway, we found a guy uh, right away, and uh, I'm expecting him to want to lead off with his guard chop. Honestly... Wow, I'm weak to Metagross. As much work as uh, Landers can put into his team, I really, really, really want to get up my Stealth Rocks because he does not have a Defogger on his team, as you guys can see. And uh, I'm expecting him to lead off with Chopper, uh, but he actually ends up leading off with Bisharp. That's even better for me. I'm getting up my Stealth Rocks. If he goes out to Zard right away, that's actually scary. No, I have a Choice Scarf Latia. Latios. The nice check, so... What? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm not scared anymore, guys. <laughs> I dodged the bullet here, uh, but I could just go for. <laughs> guys, keep in mind I am lower on the ladder, so I am trying to show you guys the battles that I skip when doing lives. Like when I do road to top tens, I skip all these lower battles. That's why I start the live at like when I'm at 1300. But uh, I cannot beat this in one hit. I do not know, so I'm gonna switch out to Heat Ramp. Honestly. Uh, not necessarily the best switch, but I don't, well, I guess I could use Heat Ram for Guardy. Oh well, too late. Ah, uh, cool. Now you, 
Uh, I'm just gonna go for Fire Blast. If he Mega Evolves, if he even is a Mega, uh, he'll get up the Sun. I'm assuming that's Zard Y. That could be very well be Zard X. I'm assuming that's Zard Y. If he gets up the Sun, this Fire Blast will beat him. Uh, it will do a lot. It also hits whatever he wants to go into for a decent amount of damage. I get bopped by an Earthquake as uh, Fire Blast is able to knock out the Charizard. I kind of figured he would have an Earthquake. I actually did. <laughs> then again, after I saw Hyper Beam Bishop, I'm not sure. Uh, again, guys, the point of this, I got to get 2700 in my coil. So that's what I am trying to do. I'm just going to hit him with a Will-O-Wisp. I should be faster unless he's Jolly. And unless he's packing a Lumberry, I will be... I will have burnt this uh, this dragon. The funny thing is, despite what, despite my opponent uh, possibly being inexperienced, I'm just thinking about that just based on the move sets. That Gardevoir is still such a huge threat to my team that he could actually beat me with that. Yeah, he could actually beat me with that. It's a shame, but that's what's gonna happen, maybe. So I'm actually gonna go out into my Altaria right here because I want to take this as an opportunity to Mega Evolve. Fire off a hyper voice on something. Get a better check for guard chomp. I could have probably went for fire blast right there and knocked it out. But oh well, he has an agave berry. All right, cool. <laughs> he forfeited. So we're gonna look for <laughs> we're gonna look for another battle, guys. Uh, we're probably gonna get a lot of battles in this one just because I'm just trying to ladder up. And there's a bit of lag here on showdown today. So we got a game. My opponent has a pretty cool team. Uh, definitely pretty cool. Uh, I like Conqueror versus his team though, so I'm gonna lead off with it just in case he wants to lead off with Lopany. Yeah, Conqueror actually matches up pretty well versus team, only fearing uh, Talonflame, which I have Run and Wash in the back for. So he ends up leading off with him only. This is gonna do a hell of a lot, isn't it? I already know I'm about to get bought by a jump kick. I'm going right for Drain Punch though. If he is like some sort of fake out uh, normal gem, I should be able to live a high jump kick down. I'm positive I can live one. But we're going to calc that. Maybe. I'm lazy. Alright. We'll calc it right now. Damn. This is really taking forever. So I do end up living the high jump kick as I pick the move before I even calc. So I able to knock out the... Uh, <laughs> the hit model. You saw how much that high jump kick did do? 72%. But Drain Punch is able to knock him out. The good thing is that I'm still at a good amount of HP to take on... Hello? Fred? Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> look for another fat. Alright, so I got this battle. I got that one won. I won this one. Hello? I guess I have 60 seconds left and it just gave me the win. Okay, cool. So we got another battle. Uh, interesting team. Again, guys, we are low on the ladder. So this is just me basically just climbing up, trying to get points. That's all that matters for me right now. I want to lead off a conk because finally a meta. A meta. Meta. I have no idea what this guy is saying. Meta. Meta. Character is something that is characteristically self -reached. What the hell is... That doesn't even help me. And this is not the calculator I want. I want this calculator. Did I just show anything I should delete? Nope. I thought for a second it stood my chase account. I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> Here goes that at it. Uh... Bro, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> Alright, I'm leading off. Even though Conqueror gets wrecked by this, this, and this. If he leads off with this, it pressures this. And that leads a lot for these. <laughs> I hope that's making sense, guys. So, I want to lead off with Conk just in case he wants to lead off with Cloyster if it could be Focus Sash. Did he just turn the timer on me and not pick a move? Alright, we're going to pause it to fix a move. We'll be right back. Alright, so we're back. And I'm just going to click Drain Punch. I don't care that he has three... Pokemon that he can go out into. Really don't. There's no point in me predicting right now. As uh, I am able to hit the Crobat upon switching, that is zero. That actually does zero. Uh, he doesn't appreciate Heat Ran, so I'm gonna go out to Heat Ran. He's more likely gonna U-turn. I feel like no, I feel like he's gonna confuse Ray Hypnosis me. I, I do feel like that we're at that point in the ladder. Where's my coil? I'm trying to get it to 2700. Uh, there's the Air Slash. This guy has HP Ground. Nasty plot HP ground. I can I can feel it. I really can. All right, six seven six fifteen. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna go right for the Wisp. Uh, he has like one Pokemon that can go out into, and that Pokemon isn't really a switch in the Heat Rand, being Talonflame. 
So I think Wisp is one of my best plays. He's probably going to go out into his T-Tar, honestly. But if I can uh, whittle that thing with the will o -Wisp, I should be fine. Uh, unfortunately, he has a bunch of stuff for Altaria. Well, two Pokemon. Crobat and Talonflame, honestly. But he ends up going out to Cloyster, which is cool because I ended up landing this uh, will o -Wisp. I, I don't know why he made that play. But at the same time, I should be able to just bop him with a Fire Blast right now. An interesting play. It is a water type, yes, but it's also, I missed. He's gonna shell smash. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Probably should've went for Flash Cannon right there. Uh, I know Flash Cannon will definitely knock him out now. And do I need this Pokemon healthy, honestly? Not really, I'm not really too worried about this opponent. I shouldn't underestimate him, but I don't feel like I need Heat Ran healthy just because I have Rotom Wash for the two birds, or three birds left. I have a Scarf Latios, and uh, I do have Fire Blast on Altaria, as well as Conkluder's Drain Punch for Ferrothorn. So I'm just going to go after Flash Cannon. Hopefully I can live a hit. This guy's about to surf me. I'm about to get surfed. I can feel it. Ah, uh, he misses. Some nice justice right away, as I am able to knock him out with the Flash Cannon. I probably should have went for Flash Cannon first, to be honest. But I'm not sure how much it would have done. And I really didn't feel like Calcan right now. So, I'm going to... Uh, sorry. I don't want to sad face. I'm, I'm really not sorry, but I didn't say sorry. I just said I want to sad face. I mean, <laughs> I like this guy. So he goes up to Titar. Uh, he's probably just gonna go for his earthquake, stealth rock, superpower. I don't care. I could just go for will o -Wisp. I could also switch out to Tran. Tran would probably be the better play overall, but I'll just go for will o -Wisp. That's game over for me, basically. Okay. I'm going to pause it till he decides to forfeit then, if he thinks that's really game over for me. Hopefully. <laughs> I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> so, I was taking a little bit of extra time to come back, because I was kind of hoping that after I burnt his T-Tar, and then he used Ice Punch, if I let the timer go down a bit, he would forfeit. But it didn't work out the way I wanted. As uh, I'm just gonna click flash cannon right here. I really was hoping he would uh he would just forfeit after that. But uh, that does a decent amount. As easy able to hit me with the earthquake. So he actually does have earthquake. That's cool. Uh, again, I don't feel like I really need Tran. I have fire blast on this. I have drain punch conk. Tran does help better with Crobat, I guess. But I also have choice scarf Latios. And uh, if I weaken Titar, that leaves a lot for my Latios. So I'm definitely just going for the flash cannon again. As I don't have to fear that thing getting pursuit trapped by anything. So, uh, while you will be able to knock me, no, he's really trying hard to predict my landers, but I, that's a play that I don't have to make, as uh, I can just go right for the flash cannon, one more time, knock out Titar, my heat ran is still alive, so maybe that's a backup check for, uh, for Crobat, as well as a nice counter for the Ferrothorn bar, like a bulldoze variant, so I am able to knock this thing out, and we have gone by three battles, or three battles in 13 minutes, cool, so. Hopefully the next one will be uh, a bit better. Um, as he ends up going out to Pinsir, I really don't want to risk him setting up an SD. So I'm going for Fire Blast. Hopefully I, I land it this time. I really hope I do land it this time. As uh, it'll be nice. Uh, assuming he doesn't go right for Earthquake. But he's able to go right for the Earthquake. As uh, I can just go right on to my Rotom right now and I should be able to just click Will-O-Wisp because Volt Switch would not be able to knock out uh, Pinsir and uh, Will-O-Wisp will also weaken the Ferrothorn if he does choose to go out into that and also I, once I get up Rocks uh, unless his Crobat is Defog which I'm not sure because it showed Air Slash or Air Slash is more so like a nasty plot variant I'm leaning towards I should be good but uh, he ends up hitting me with Return as I do end up landing my Will-O-Wisp which is great uh, maybe he has Facade though that'd be pretty cool Oh crap, no, don't say stuff like this and end up having me. I'm just gonna go for Volt Switch though. Please don't have Facade. Please. <laughs> As he ends up going for the, uh, the SD, and, uh, I'm positive. Altaria will be able to live this as well as get off a of Mega Evolution and Roost. So I don't want to go out to uh, Latios because I don't want to take it, let it take any unnecessary damage. At the same time though, I didn't really need a lot of my Pokemon, but. I'm just going to Mega Evolve and click Roost. Get a bit bulkier. Uh, we'll be able to take a hit. What if his Pinsir has Rest? 
Oh, crap. Stop saying these things. <laughs> but uh, that return does still do a lot. But I am able to roost off most of it as he is going to go down to the burn. And hopefully he brings out his uh, his Ferrothor right here, hoping, thinking he could beat me. I really appreciate that, actually. As I will be able to bop it with a Fire Blast. He ends up going out to Crobat, though. Good because, uh, obviously, Crobat can take... Or hit me with Sludge Bomb. So, what I'm going to do is go out into my... Uh, my Latios right here. Because he is special, I'm hoping to be able to beat him. As he doesn't have hitting with a Sludge Bomb. And, uh, unfortunately, he gets the Poison on me. But, I can Trick freely right here. If he goes out to Ferrothorn, that's good. If he goes out into... If he stays in with Crobat, that's cool too. I get rid of his ability to switch up moves, which is something I'd like. As I'm expecting to want to go out to Ferrothorn right here. So I'm going to pause it so he picks a move. Alright, so he ends up staying in though. Completely fine by me. I've yeah, There's the Confuse Ray, guys. There's the Confuse Ray. <laughs> and uh, what I'm actually going to do is go out to my Altaria, predicting him to want to bring out his Ferrothorn. As I will be able to blast that thing with a Fire Blast. Ooh, bars. So he doesn't bring out that fair throne as I bring out my Ataria. And I should be able to go right for the Fire Blast right here. Because Crobat's locked into that. It's lost its form of recovery and leftovers. If it does have Roost, it can't go with that. Uh, I'm feeling a lot better and more confident. I wasn't feeling any less confident, but I am able to hit this thing with a Fire Blast as uh, he is going to go for his Stealth Rocks. And I don't really mind that. I can just go for a safe Hyper Voice right now. That yeah, Stealth Rocks don't really affect me. As he ends up going out to Talonflame. So we'll see what type of Talonflame this is. I don't see any item on it. So I'm thinking he might be uh, SD or Bandit. But I'm just going to go for Hyper Voice again. Because even if he sets up an SD. I do have Rotom in the back. As he does end up being not even sure. Because he's able to <laughs> knock me out with that. But I do have Rotom right here. And Rotom kind of just beats his team. Which is good. Because... Uh, also, the fact that he's probably going to have to go out into Crobat after is nice too. So, I should be able to just fire off a Hydro Pump right here for free. I don't want to go for anything else and have him like roosting up. Uh, Hydro Pump hits everything on his team as he doesn't have roosting up. As I am able to land my Hydro Pump and get rid of the Talon Flame. And I think that's a good game because Ferrothorn will go down to Volt Switch. And Crobat, the best thing he could do is uh, Sludge Bomb me, which I don't really care about. So... Or air slash, it could air slash my team to death, guys. Why is this 18 minutes long? <laughs> but he goes out to Ferrothorn as... Are you going to go for Protect so I get more leftovers? Please do it. I like that. <laughs> um, as I am able to knock it out. And now what I could do is just go out into my combo there. I don't think it matters, honestly. Uh, that one miss won you the game. See, if I actually cared, I would say, was it the Fire Blast miss? But I, I really don't. I could care less. And I'm not going to go for knockoff because I want to have my Choice Scarf. So I'm just going to go right for the Ice Punch. I should be able to take Air Slash relatively well just because of my uh, AV. Is this guy serious? <laughs> Some people just get mad, man. Who cares? Who honestly cares? I, I don't care. Uh, obviously because it didn't happen to me, but I missed Fire Blast, which would have annihilated Cloyster. Whatever. Uh, I should be able to go right for... Oh, crap. My throat really hurts. It's not even a voice crack. That's just my throat hurting. Ooh. It's happening. I'm just going to go for Mach Punch just to get off some damage. I'll be right back. <laughs> I guess Ice Punch would have been my best play overall, just in case he did miss like he did right there. But, uh, again, I don't think it matters at all. In the science. I'm actually going to look for another battle because this one is taking forever just to finish. It's 25 turns and it was like 10 minutes long. So We found a game. I'm going to let that thing load as uh, apparently it's waiting for us. I'm, I'm ready. Right here. Ooh, we got a strong team that gets torn apart by Ataria. Uh, but that's a real team right there. It actually is a real team. So I can go out to Rotom right now and just go right for the Volt Switch. I'm going to let this thing go down a little. Uh... This is a nice team, actually. I like his team. Altaria puts in a lot of work. Kind of want to lead off a of Conqueror there, because if he leads off a of Rotom, that'd be nice, but... Lead off on my Rotom, because I can burn something on his team. Uh, Altaria, like I said, puts in a lot of work on his team, especially the set that I'm running. But, right here, 
uh, I should be able to just click Volt Switch and uh, it should be game as he doesn't lead off with his Rotom Wash. The reason I let off with my Rotom Wash is because I was expecting that and I really, 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 really wanted to be able to burn his Rotom and I didn't want my Altaria to get burnt. So he ends up going for Volt Switch as I was able to land that burn, which is amazing. Actually amazing for me. Did he flinch me? Nope. Able to knock him out. Uh, did he say anything? Oh, he left. Okay. But uh, he's going to go out to his Heat Rant. Not necessarily the, a play I would probably make because I just get off free damage with the Hydro Pump. If he wants to go for Toxic, that's cool too. But he ends up going for his Rocks as uh, I was able to do a lot to him with that Hydro Pump. So yeah, He's definitely in Earthquake range of my Altaria. But either way, I'm just going to go for Hydro Pump again as it hits everything on his team. Even if he wants to go out to Rotom, completely fine by me. Uh, the fact that Heat Ran has been lowered... Uh, is a lot is really nice for my Latios as well as it doesn't have to worry about heat ran uh, biggest threat is going to be Mega Sableye but I do have Altaria to deal with that and like I said his team gets uh doesn't really appreciate Altaria at all so I am just going to go uh Volt Switch out into my uh I'm thinking either heat ran or Altaria but he ends up going out to okay because he wasted his prankster right there in Mega Evolving Artaria is definitely the safer play that I can make right here as uh, I really, 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 really want to click Earthquake. I really do. Just because I want to be able to uh, knock out the Heat Rain just in case he's running max speed and outspeeds me. I think I am going to click Earthquake. It will also hit the, uh, it also leave the Ferrothorn to believe that I am physical. So I'm going to make it evolve and click Earthquake. I don't think he's going to want to stay in with a Sableye. I'm actually fairy type when I Mega Evolve, so he's weak to it. He doesn't go out to Ferrothorn, which is great. The fact that I went for Earthquake, he's probably thinking I am uh, a physical variant, and I should be able to bop this thing with Fire Blast right now. As uh, Unless he pulls a double, that'd be a really nice play, actually. I don't think he... I, I don't know if he'll do that. He might actually. But uh, hoping that I can knock it out with this Fire Blast as uh, Ferrothorn goes down. That's great. The bait was here. Ah, I love... <laughs> I felt like uh, the leader of the A team. I love when everything goes to plan. <laughs> but he goes out into his uh, landers, and I'm actually going to go out into my own landers just because I can dodge an earth power, and I do have HP ice on this thing. So he ends up going for sludge wave. I don't know uh, if he will be predicting my HP ice, but I'm going to go for the speed tie right now. Psychic could definitely knock me out if he does choose to go for it. But if I do win the speed tie, I'll be in a nice position to get rid of a Pokemon that is faster than my. Uh, than my Lanners, but he ends up going out into Sableye. I can just go right for Earth Power right here. I really want to go for Stealth Rocks though, predicting him to want to go out into Rotom because Earth Power knocks him out, but I'm just going to go for a safe Earth Power. Or I could go for Focus Blast, but he does end up going out into Rotom. Now, I did anticipate that, but eh, like I said, it doesn't matter. I can just go out into my Latios right here and uh, actually just get a kill or a defog in all honesty. While killing Sableye or something would be nice, I think I want to defog away this thing's hazards anyway, as he ends up going for Volt Switch. So he doesn't have a Pokemon that can safely come in on this thing. Uh, Heat Ran doesn't appreciate being tricked anyway, which I will go for the trick just to get rid of this thing's. Just that way I can switch up my moves as he ends up going out to Sableye. Uh, I don't think it could take a Draco, so I am going to drop a Draco. Even though Mega Sableye is definitely bulky at that range, uh, either way, he, he did predict my Draco by sacking Tran, but that opens up so much for my Altaria, it's crazy. Like, he has zero switch-ins for my Altaria. I seems to go out to Lanners right here, and uh, I don't need my Heat Ran at all. So I'm going to sack my Heat Ran. As Heat Ran doesn't beat this, it loses the Rotom. Altaria beats it 1v1, or can beat it 1v1 rather, and uh, he ends up going out to his Lando, I mean, he ends up going for Calm Mind, cool play, really good play on my opponent's part, but I don't know how much it's going to matter, honestly, he might try and predict right here, go for Earth Power, he did try and predict and go for Focus Blast, as I was able to land a Fire Blast, unfortunate, definitely unfortunate for my opponent, but I didn't, if he would have known, if he would have looked at his team and my team, I didn't need Heat ran at all, so I'm just going to go for Flash Cannon just to get off a bit of damage. Obviously, that Focus Blast would have been able to knock me out, and now this leaves a lot more for my uh, my Latios right here, which I can safely just go for uh, Psyshock, I believe, 
We're gonna calc this real quick. Latios. I'm positive. I'm actually positive that uh, choice scarf thing knocks out Langers. Ooh, it's a roll. Well, I could risk the roll and then just go for Mach Punch. Um, the combination of Rotom Watch plus Conkle there also deals with Keldeo. So I could. I could also risk the speed tie with my Lanners, but that's not something I really feel like doing. So I'm going to go out to Latios right now. And uh, at plus one, we'll calc this real quick. At plus one, Spadef. That's Spadef. That's pretty sure Draco still kills. Yeah, Draco kills 100%, but is it worth missing is the problem. It's 90%. It gets a kill. I'm going for Draco. Yeah, because it also gets rid of uh, Sableye and it basically bops his entire team. I think I'll go for Draco as opposed to going for a roll as uh, I do in the landing. And thankfully, I am able to knock out the landers. It wasn't a roll right there, obviously, because I was able to knock it out as he does have the free switch in the Sableye if he wants. But again, because I do have Altaria, I'm not really too worried about this Sableye at all. Altaria actually just wrecks my opponent's team. So I'm going to go out into my Altaria as he ends up going for Will-O-Wisp. And uh, he does end up connecting, which is cool, but I should be able to just click Hyper Voice right here. Uh, if he wants to sack Rotom, that's cool too. Uh, if he wants to sack anything, that's actually better for me. But he ends up sacking uh, Rotom right here as I am just going to go for Roost. If he goes for Volt Switch, that's cool. I still end up with my HP. Uh, I still do have Lanners in the back to deal with Sableye, which is great, especially at that range. So I'm definitely going for the Roost right here as he ends up going for Plane Spit. That's cool because I still end up with more HP than I would have before. And uh, Hyper Voice will be able to knock out this Rotom. Leaving him to Keldeo and uh, just Keldeo and Sableye next. So I don't, I think I still possibly lose this game, but I don't think I'm going to choke it away. Hopefully, I guess we'll see. Uh... Conqueror is fine because I get off Mach Punch damage if he knocks me out. I can also just spam Ice Punch, to be honest. I'm expecting Secret Sword right here, so we'll see. As he does end up going for Scald. If he gets the burn, it's basically over right there as uh, Knock Off is 65. Yeah, I can just go for a safe Knock Off. I don't lose anything by it. As he ends up going out to Sableye. And... Uh, Ooh, uh, I think he has to go for Dark Pulse right here. What's my best play? I'll go, I think he has to go for Dark Pulse right here, but, um, predicting my save alive, but he ends up going for Foul Play, as he's able to knock me out, and, uh, 12%, what's better, what's better, what's better, what's better? Alright, I'll go out to Latios. And what I am going to do is, uh, Draco shouldn't be able to knock out Keldeo. Because what I, I want to do is go for Defog, predicting him to go out to Keldeo, and then, uh, right there. Well, actually, I'm low, so he might think I'm not Chase Scarf. I don't think Draco knocks out Keldeo from full HP. I'm actually positive it doesn't. But, yeah, he had to attack him right there, too. Yeah, Draco doesn't knock out Keldeo. Yeah, I did go for default predicting the Keldeo, which gives me a lot more switch-ins with my, uh, which gives me another switch-in with my Atari. The fact that it's burnt actually helps me, because foul play would do no damage, as I can just go right out into my Conkle there. And if he pulls a double right here, that's cool. But he ends up going for Icy Win, and, uh, I think that's game. Yeah. We'll see. I don't think Ice Punch... Does, how much did knockoff do before? Knockoff did 19. 19 plus 19 is 38. So I can actually knock it out. This is stronger, so I'll just go for Ice Punch. <laughs> There's no point. As uh, it should be able to 2 KO the Sableye. And I get the freeze. <laughs> Chipek was telling me this is how people beat a Sableye. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was game because Altario was a free switch right there as he recovered. I fired off a Hyper Voice. I got a kill. And uh, yeah, it was over right there, I think. But... Slash rank. What are we in? 8.68. What is the time? 30 minutes. Probably the only uh, good game we got. Well, not good, but game versus, like, I feel like versus experienced player. But we're going to look for another one. Uh, this guy has named Bad and Lucky, so I feel like he uh, knows what he's doing. We'll see, though. 
Hmm. Altaria puts in work versus his team, so I'm leading off with Altaria. As uh, if he wants to lead off with Rotom, yo. If he wants to lead off with Rotom, that's fine. I get off a of Hyper Voice. If he wants to lead off with anything, that's fine. Uh, Latios is definitely the biggest threat to my team that I'm fearing. But I'm gonna pause it to pick some move. We are back. Okay, so he ends up leading off with his Manetric, which is cool because I get to fire off a free Hyper Voice. Uh, he, oh, I'll you this. It's pretty cool. Um, he does have Clef Key, which he can go out into. I'm not really expecting Clef Key, though. I'm expecting more Rotom or or is uh, Hippowdon, as I should be able to fire off a Hyper Voice right here for free. Clef Key, I guess, is a play he could make. I wouldn't count that out at all. Do I really care if... <laughs> Do I really care if he t ways me is actually the is actually the question because uh, I don't think I do as he doesn't go out to cleft key now yeah that did a lot hmm let's calc some damage right here Mega Altaria special attacker yeah I'm definitely timid I should fix that I don't need any of this extra speed that I put cleft key cleft key it's not all you dual screens but I want to see how much it does to that one anyway. Yeah, Fire Blast Oko. So I'm going right for the Fire Blast right here. As if he T-Ways me, I don't care. I don't care. Because if anything, that just makes it so he can't burn me with Will-O-Wisp. Or obviously, it sucks if he does T-Wave me. But uh, he ends up going on to hip out on right there. Uh, probably expecting uh, switching to... What are you expecting? Rotom was my best play. But I will be able to fire off a Hyper Voice right here. Again, and all he did was lay his pad on take damage. So that did zero. Holy crap! That actually did zero. It's pretty cool. Uh, not cool that I did zero. That sucks. I'm gonna ignore spectators because a lot of people are joining. Yeah, I, I should make that Altaria modest definitely. Um, Willow S is my best play. He's probably going out into uh, Rotom. I guess Latios he can go out into if he wants to like let it take damage. But uh, I'm expecting Rotom as he doesn't go into his Rotom. And uh, I miss my will o -Wisp, which loses me momentum because I'm forced to go for it right here as he could just go for Vault Switch if he wants to. I'm a little bit sad that I lost momentum. He probably expected my Lanterns to come out because Hippo is definitely fully special defensive as he is going to be able to go for Vault Switch. What I would have been able to do is go for Vault Switch in the, first, in the turn and go out into my, uh, my Latios, which would have been nice. Would have been really nice, but whatever. Uh, my fault for using Willow Wisp and not Ember because Ember would have hit. But get a positive pick some move right back. All right, so he ends up going out into his Latios. I put the Machad on because I don't know if he's talking to people and taking a while. But uh, he ends up going out to Latios. I do have Heat Ran. It's my only switch, honestly. Uh, I guess Altaria too. But Heat Ran works for me because if he wants to go out into Keldeo after, I can get a free burn with Willow Wisp. If he goes for Earthquake, predicting me, that's a good play on his part. As he ends up just dropping a Draco. And uh, that does a lot. But that's probably choice scarf damage. As I am just going to go right for the uh, the will o wisp right here. Uh, Rotom is definitely his best play. But Keldeo is also an option right there. As I was able to burn the Keldeo. Making it a lot easier for me. And uh, I'm thinking he's just going to go for Secret Sword. So I have to go Latios anyway. If he goes for Icy Wind predicting me. Good play on his part. But getting off that burn on Keldeo helps a lot with uh, Conkle versus it. As uh, he doesn't go in right for the Scald. And thankfully he does not get a burn on me. And uh, what do I want to do? I feel like tricking. I feel like tricking because if he goes out to Hippo, I really want to trick that thing. Yeah, I'm going to go for trick. Even if he goes out to Clef Key, I would rather trick that thing too. He could just stay in predicting me. In all honesty. But if he goes out to Hippo, I really, really want to trick that thing. As he actually does end up staying in... Uh, as he gets my choice, whatever. And he gets the burn, which sucks. But, uh... I, I'm not expecting him to stay in, because I can just kill this thing. Will he really stay in? I'm gonna go for trick again. Losing my, uh, spec sucks. But, well, losing my item sucks, but I was able to give the Clef Key a choice specs, which isn't gonna help that thing at all. <laughs> As I will be able to defog away these hazards. Uh, if he wants to go Hippo, that's completely fine by me. Yeah, I guess him staying with Keldeo was also an option. It does have Choice Scarf now, which is probably a lot 
easier for me, but he's locked into spikes as uh, I can just continuously defog them away. I'm actually just going to go for Psy Shock just in case he wants or drop a Draco rather. Uh, because even if he goes for spikes again, at least I'll be able to drop a Draco on something. Uh, my defog will always go after because of his priority. And uh, let's say he wants to go out into something to take a Draco. It, it doesn't matter at all. Because uh, because like I said, I can just defog away the hazard right now and go down the burn. So Draco was by far my best play in that situation. I didn't want to switch out uh, just because... Well, while my switches to Caldeo are sort of limited, because he has Choice Scarf, he does a lot less damage. So... Makes it a lot easier for me. As, uh... Do I want to get up my rocks? I'm debating right now, actually. Yeah, we'll get up rocks. Oh, we'll go out to Landers. Uh, I think Rotom would have been better, actually, thinking about it. Hoping, I, wishing I could cancel. But I really just want to get up these rocks. Slack off. I don't know if he has Ice Fang, actually. But I want to get up these rocks as quickly as possible. My win condition is still Altaria versus his team. But, uh, well, we'll see. I can just go for... I'm gonna go for Folk Splash because if he hit, goes out to Rotom, that'd be good. But he ends up staying in, so... <laughs> That's good that, uh, that it didn't do what I wanted it to do right there as, uh... I think that's a roll, in all honesty, but... We'll see. I'm gonna go for Folk Splash right now. Because, like I said, if Rotom is just switching, I don't think it will be at all. I still want to be able to hit it. It also hits, uh... It also hits Latios again, but Rotom is more so the play I'm thinking of. I guess he might just stay in and go for a slack off too. What does he lose from that? Not much. Damn, man. If I was bulk up cock, I would have put in so much work. <laughs> but that doesn't matter. Uh, I'm just going to go for Focus Blast right here. I'm actually expecting him to kind of stay in going off a roll, but he doesn't go out to Rotom. If I do land this Focus Blast, I'm in a nice position as I definitely land that Focus Blast. And he's actually in range of... Where I can just go right for a safe life orb HP ice, knock out the Rotom, also deal damage to Latios if he wants to go out to that. So I'm actually a bit happy about that. That uh, that worked out the way I had hoped it would, as uh, as I was able to knock him out with the HP ice and Rotom is gone. So that's one annoying threat gone. As Klefki's still alive, which is annoying. Uh, Manetric is alive, which is annoying. But Manetric has limited... Manetric gives myself a free switch into Altaria. I'm going to pause it real quick until he makes a move. We'll be right back. Alright, so he ends up going out to Keldeo. Um, I'm actually going to go out to my Rotom right here because it's a relatively safe switch. Especially because he's burnt. He's Scarf, not Specs anymore. And uh, he actually ends up going for the Icy one, which is even better for me. As I will be able to get off a of Volt Switch right here for free. Versus what I'm expecting to be his, uh, his Latios. In all honesty, I am expecting it to be Latios. Uh, he could also stay in, I guess, as he doesn't end up going out to Latios. And um, based on the Draco damage that he did to to me before, I am expecting this thing to be Choice Scarf. So I definitely want to go out into my Conkle there. That way I can deal with it. I don't think this is a choke because uh, Altaria can take an HP Ice from Manetric. And if I can get rid of this thing, I'd appreciate it. So I'm just going to go right for knockoff right here. As uh, he doesn't anything with side, and he gets a crit. Ah, oh, that's devastating for me. That sucks because uh, well, let me show you guys the damage. Choice scarf. That's definitely choice scarf. Heat ran. I'm gonna give it choice scarf damage. See, Draco does 31 and 36 percent. Now, my heat ran was offensive. It had no HP V, so that was the role it did. And Conkleder. Can easily survive that, but <sighs> that sucks. That really sucks. Um, whatever happens though, I don't know if I can win this game from there, but we'll we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna go on to my heat ram because what I can do is fire off a fire blast and get a kill. Yeah, I get a kill with fire blast. So that was super unfortunate that he got that crit. I made that play that way he wouldn't be able to beat me with this thing, but whatever it happens. Why are so many people in here? Why are so many people in here? Holy crap. Uh, yeah, that was really unfortunate, but I guess things happen, whatever. Hopefully, I do land this Fire Blast. Even if he stays in, uh, hopefully, I get a burn on him. That'd be nice, too. <laughs> I get a kill with this Fire Blast, which is something I like. Something I definitely like right here. But uh, he doesn't go out to Hippo, which is good, as I miss my Fire Blast. 
amazing. <laughs> Damn, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure Heat Ran's offensive fire blast will not be able to. Offensive balloon, whatever. Will not be able to knock out Spadef Tran. I'm just getting hacks. Uh, it's okay. It's whatever it happens. Yeah. Would have been able to knock it out if I got that because I could have went for Flash Cannon afterwards. But now I kind of have to go for Will O Wisp right here. Which sucks. And I miss my Will O Wisp as he is able to knock me out with the Earthquake. So. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. <laughs> oh, well. Things happen. Whatever, I wasn't meant to win this battle. I would have been in a fantastic situation to just sweep him with Altaria. Especially because I do have HP investment, so I could take any attack from Manetric as well. But uh, I'm just going to go right for the uh, the Hydra Pump. I have to. I can't win this game at all. Uh, I, had to, I had to land that Fire Blast on this... Uh, I had to land it on Hippo to win, to even have a chance at winning after him critting my Conkleder with Psyshock, but uh, things happen. Unfortunate, but uh, he is able to get off a last ditch effort. Oh, great. <laughs> That's great. Hmm. I don't even know if I... Can I still win this game? Hopefully my opponent chokes. As I thankfully land my next Hydra Pump, uh, don't think it matters at all, in all honesty, but... Whatever, we'll see. Uh, if I can get a crit on Hippo, actually, I think I have a chance. So, he goes out to Manetric. My only way of winning this game is having the combination of Altaria plus, uh, plus Rotom. So, I have to sack my, uh, I have to sack my Landers right here. Okay, that's my only way of winning this game. As uh, so he is going to go right for Thunderbolt. I, that doesn't matter. He could just switch it up right here. But it, let's say he chokes for some whatever reason, trying to get off a of defog with Latios. I am just going to go for HP Ice, as he's able to knock me out with his HP Ice. And uh, I can go out to my Altaria now. I can definitely tank his HP Ice. And uh, just go right for Roost. Damn, man. Uh, I was thinking of ways I could win this game, but yeah, there's no possible way I can win this game now. Especially after all of that happened. But he ends up Volt switching out for some reason. Into what I'm expecting to be, uh, I guess, Hippo, yeah. And uh, I'm thinking of how I can win this game. So I am going to go out to Rotom on what I'm expecting to be a Toxic. If he does end up going for the Slack Off, cool. You know, whatever, you made the play. But I believe I could just go for Volt Switch right here. I have to go for Volt Switch anyway. It's the only play I can make right here. So I have to go for Volt Switch as he ends up going out into Latios. Uh, again, I don't think... Oh, nice, a crit. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't think I can win this game. Especially because of circumstances, but... I'm gonna go for Roost. I don't know how much Psyshock does to me, honestly. Oh, not enough, but Roost is my best play right there as... Uh, I should be able to fire off high profile. I need a crit. If he goes up to Hippo right here, I need like a super crit. As uh, I'm able to knock out the Latios, so at least that helps me versus uh, <laughs> one problem. <laughs> As I guess he could go out to Keldy. I don't, he's kind of, I don't know. Yeah, Hippo is definitely his best play. And going for Toxic is by far his best play. So uh, I have to go for Roost though. Let's say he doubles for whatever reason. Let's say he actually does double. I have to go for Roost anyway. So that was a good play by on his part going for uh, Toxic right there. And um, I guess I could try and predict this switch, but he's not He's not going to switch. His best play is just clicking Earthquake. So, yeah. Damn, man. Um, I think I had a good chance of winning this. I, I, I know I had it. I know I had the... Not that I had the game, but I believe I'm just going to probably just forfeit right here as there's nothing I can do. So, yeah. Unfortunately, that we have to end it off on a loss, but hacks happened. It's part of the game. And, uh, yeah. Zack and Kelda is his best play. That way he gets, just gets the free switch into Manetric, and it's over. So, let me turn off spectators. That way I can say good game. Probably a lot of stuff coming through or going on right now. But, I think I turned off spectators. Uh, 
I don't think it was a good game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was fine. Uh, it was still a good game. He definitely played it well with the hacks in his favor. Obviously, he couldn't do anything, but he made the correct play. So, I just say good game. And, um, unfortunately, we have to end it off on a loss. But, yeah, good game. As uh, he should be able to knock me out with the Thunderbolt. And that's going to be a good game. So, yeah, I hope you guys all enjoyed uh, this. It's whatever. This rank. Um, 973, 937, oof, can't read. It would have been nice if I would have been able to uh, bring it up a bit more. But, you know, I'll do that more off screen. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you want. Uh, you can, you can, like, leave suggestions, I guess, if you want me to, uh, holy crap, there's a lot of people here. If you want me to uh, do more of this laddering. But, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Till next time, later.